what are some of the practices that you can use to just get you out of that state? Yeah, so you mentioned um, journaling. Uh, I'm a big believer in journaling. I never used to be. I was one of the skeptics. You know, hey, I trained in the Western medical environment where we thought all of this was just woo-woo or fluff, you know? Mm -hmm. So once I started learning how all of these practices shift your physiology, for me as a physician, it started to make more sense to me. And then then the more important thing when I started practicing these and experiencing it for myself and that's what I always tell physicians I'm like you don't have to believe any of this because there's lots of science you don't have to believe any of it but just try it and see how it affects you know see what you experience and most physicians when they try something and it helps them they they start recommending it in the office to their patients whether there's some randomized control trial or not you know I know this and so we can't fool ourselves to say is there a randomized control trial about this you know and luckily nowadays there are many many studies that show the benefits of meditation, yoga, Mm -hmm. breathing practices, but journaling also. And so I usually tell people to journal before bed because, you know, journaling first thing in the morning is great, but oftentimes people feel like I don't have time in the, Mm -hmm. because that's one of the things that right away when you wake up, your mind is racing. So the best thing to do is right before you go to bed, just have a little journal. And like you said, just write down five things you're grateful for or 10 things you're grateful for. And most of us can come up with those five or 10 things. And it can be the same thing every night. You don't have to get creative, just write down. So simple, simple. There's another little practice that I started doing myself that really helped me sleep because a lot of times when we're all jazzed up from the day, we have trouble sleeping, right? Mm -hmm. So I would just take maximum of two minutes and just write down everything you know, everything that was, you know, buzzing around in my mind, you know, that, that chatter. And I would Mm -hmm. just write it down like stream of consciousness. So that just takes like two minutes. And again, there's brain science that shows that that cools down the amygdala and now we can actually um, feel more centered. So it's not a practice to like work out all the problems of the day. No, it's just dumping, you know, so you just dump out your day Mm -hmm. and then you, you, you like you silently, you know, intentionally say to yourself, like, I'm letting all that go. And then I would write down, the numbers one two three and i would write down three intentions that i had you know for like my life or affirmations you know so whatever so what i tell people is when you dump you're like picking out the weeds Mm -hmm. then just three intentions and this isn't meant to be a thinking practice this is more of honestly like a spiritual practice um you plant what seeds do you want to plant you get to plant three new seeds every night so you don't have to do them all at the same time so i intend to be more physically active i intend to um you know accept uh, more help from people or whatever it is you know or an affirmation like i love what i do or you know something so but just three things these are the seeds that you want to plant then i would close it with three things i'm grateful for and that's kind of like the the fertilizer or the water on top of the seeds. Mm-hmm. So that whole practice took me maybe three, four minutes max. So when people say I don't have time, I'm like, do you have three or four minutes? You know, most people do. And then I would close the book, not think about it, the notebook. I just had a little notebook by my bed. And then I found I slept so much better. Mm-hmm. And typically you're going to wake up without all that energy, you know, racing first thing in the morning, you know. So how you wake up has a lot to do with how you go to bed. So this is a great practice to do just something quick before bed and then some breathing. So then I would lay on my back and um, Mm -hmm. this is what I tell people to do um, and just focus on my breath, focus on your belly rising, focus on the belly falling. Your mind might go off into a thought, your attention will wander. Just bring it back to your abdomen or, you know, your breath and then slowly you'll drift off to sleep. Sometimes it takes a while, but you know, studies show when you have new practices within two to three months, you, you do shift your nervous system and your physiology, your biology. So just stick with it. 